Um, the whole purpose of the team is to develop the talent that we have, uh, to take it all to another level. And you know, in that regard, I think we're doing a very good job. Um, and not, in, not just in terms of riders, obviously we've got a very young mechanic, we've got very young media people, um, and they're getting a huge experience as well out of what we're doing. So that, and that uh, I think, contributes greatly to, to the whole focus of the team. When we were planning the season this year, uh, I was very keen to ensure that we had a good mix of races right across Europe. Obviously the more European racing you can do, the more experience the lads get. Um, but the tendency for a lot of teams is just to race fairly locally still, racing in Belgium, in the main, potentially some races in France and Holland. Um, but we've taken the boys uh, right across as far as Poland, um, obviously the race when they're right in New York on the training camp, and they'll be racing again very shortly in Spain in, uh, in Bilbao in the mountain region. This um, obviously affords them the opportunity to really get experience of many different types of racing. Uh, Poland, for example, uh, no quarters given nor asked. It's flat out right from the gun, and uh, it's very, it's very physical. In fact, uh, the Kazakh team were were disqualified from the race for actually punching other riders. Now, I'm not suggesting that's the right thing to do for a moment, um, but it does give a measure of just how physical and tough the racing is in Eastern Europe. So the programme has been put together very carefully, um, using mostly UCI races, although we've had a couple of non-UCI races as well in the mix, um, and that is really to afford as much development as possible. It also means that riders with different abilities, different skills, um, get the opportunity to see where they would best fit in uh, for the next stage of their careers. Um, I'm very happy with the calendar we've had this year. Um, you know, we've been accepted into virtually every major race that we've applied for uh, and we're receiving invites for races um, from, from other parts of the world as well. Um, I think it, it's tough to say that I don't really want to take part in the British calendar, but the truth is I don't really want to take part in the British calendar. Um, there are some good races in the British calendar, obviously the, the Rydale Grand Prix, I'm hoping that may continue as a junior race, uh, that's the national championships this year, it'd be great if that, that could carry on as a junior national. Um, the recent race in Scotland, the Spokes race, was also an excellent uh, parkour and, and very well organised. Um, but there are other races that, to be frank with you, I'd, I'd rather not be at, uh, especially if it can be on a, on a continental race. Um, probably the, the race I will put in the calendar, if I can, for next year, uh, will be a three-day stage race um, in uh, eastern Belgium, um, where we'll be able to ride in the, in the Ardennes. Um, and with a six-man squad, I'm looking to blend the right amount of talent into it. So, you know, who's going to be my sprinter? Who's going to be my climber? Who's going to be my my rulers? Um, you know, that's something that I've really got to think about. Um, and we've started to get in applications already for next year. Uh, some of those are very interesting. Some, uh, some some good talent, and it's all credit to British Cycling for what they're doing um, with the youth program. You know, the regional schools of racing, national schools of racing that they're developing the talent and we, uh, along with the, the ODA, we need to give these guys the chance because there's too many talented riders for the number of places that there are with, with British Cycling and uh, we'd like to think that we, we, can, uh, we can support them in their objectives.